Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to Alan Wake. Alright, we got... Well, that was anticlimactic, I can't even go in there. I assumed that was the way that I was supposed to go. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? No, okay, I'm meant to go all the way around, aren't I? Well, shit. This feels a tad bit anticlimactic from where we left things in the last episode. Ow. So, where am I... ...meant to go, then? Am I... I... Wait, I'm confused. There's nowhere else for the car to drive. That's the museum entrance. There's a bunch of stuff down there. But I can't go in the mu- Oh no, I can! I thought there would be a button to press. Like, for some reason in the like- I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. For some reason in the ten minutes since I last played this game, I forgot that doors are physics objects. Into a sauna. Instead of like, walk up, press gone. E to open door. Different scenarios Which it's never done. Mind. Ways of how I tortured the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. Except for that phone call, which is debatable if that was actually Alice. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. What? How? Wh wh wait, what? What? Okay, phone call. What's Wake, up? Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? <sighs> ah! I'm gonna kill him! Yeah. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Okay, I'm I'm starting to get really confused. Oh well, Jesus! What the fuck? Alright! Oh fuck me! It was close. Fuse box. Ever before. Or no, that's a that's the bottom. The bottom. That's that thing. Jesus H. Christ, that scared the shit out of me. Um, I, there's so many plots all stacking up right now. We've got whatever the hell's going on with the darkness. Um, we've got the FBI plot. We've got the kidnapping plot. It's all stacking up on top of itself. Uh-oh. What the fuck? Thomas Zane in love with Barbara Jagger. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. I can't remember who Barbara Jagger or Thomas Zane are. I know that they're people I've probably met, I just can't remember. Oh, God. If you're giving me all that revolver ammo, something tells me we're about to run into a big one. Speak of the devil. What's up, boys? Guess what? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't... Uh-oh. Ow. You don't want to mess with a man who's trying to... Just trying to find his wife. He will go ape shit on you. Uh-oh. Alright, got it. Just in time. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Flashbang, flashbang, those are very good. Um, now nah, I'm good on ammo. I don't want to always be full up on pistol ammo because then I'll never be able to pick up. P 
pistol ammo. Okay. Hi, boys. Got a treat for you. All right. I, there were like 400 things that I was trying to say that I now can't remember any of them because the action is picked up. Um, what the fuck? What the hell? Oh, it's ge it's gears. So oh, okay. Calm yourself, whatever big thing you are. It looks like you're just gears and stuff. Wait, what the hell? I thought that I was supposed to jump off to the other thing. It's got a little, it's got a little thing there. Oh, that's what I need to do. Wow, that was smart. Oh, ow. Are they both done for? Okay. That was dangerous. Also, the explosion of light coming out of that thing from the flare looked it looked very cool. Sorry. Um yeah, I don't need to focus, game. I know what I'm looking at, or I know what the focus of the scene is. What the shit? What's going on? The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Okay. How would I do that? I'm assuming... Get out of here, kids. Crazy kids. Alright, one down. Who wants some? Vehicular manslaughter? That's nothing compared to what I've been... had to deal with today. Oh, don't hit the explosives. Come here. Who wants some, boys? I bet I know what you want. There we go. Oh boy, this thing it looks a little worse for wear. Um, is this where I'm supposed to go, or is this just a safe haven? I would assume this is where I'm supposed to go, and I'm actually meant to turn off the power. Yep, because if I turn it off... Bingo. No more electricity need to turn off the power for once. What a wrinkle. Okay, we got more guys on the horizon. I'm get I'm guessing get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Hook up make a UE as Bluey would say. Okay. Don't hit the... Ow. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is... We are in it now. Uh-oh. Oh, the car's busted. Fuck! Quickly. Who wants some? Oh, I forgot I had that equipped. All right, well, good news is that dealt with a bit of my issues. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ow. Pop a flare, come on. No, hit the thing! Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Well, this is just peachy. Yeah, I know I know the big one is, like, waltzing up alongside one side of me. Oh, never mind. He's right there. There he 
Oops, there he is. Come on. Come on, Alan. Okay. Boy, that was a really cool looking effect. Are there any? Okay, there are. Okay, you go. Disappear. You're an inanimate object. You aren't supposed to be on the move. Get inside the building. Get inside the building. Get inside the building. Oh, well, the door just opened itself. That can, that can only be good. Hello? Anybody in here? I heard some squeaking. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't see an exit. Pop it. Pop it and lock it. Oh, shit. Okay, come on. What's up, big man? Come on. Fine. Big guns. Quite literally. Alright. Okay. Fighting our way through, fighting our way through, everything's fine. No need to worry about anything, everything's a-okay. Alright. Where will they, where will the bad guys come from this time? Oh, right there. Shoot the thing! Ow! Not that thing, that thing, that thing! Run, 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 run. Oh, shit. That went far better than I ever could have expected, given that I was standing right next to an explosive barrel as it blew up. Trust no one in the dark. No, you think? I was kind of iffy on it, if I'm being honest. This is absolute hell. Is this a Twin Peaks reference? The red chair. That looks like a Twin Peaks reference. I don't even watch Twin Peaks. And I think it feels like a Twin Peaks reference. Is that what this whole game a Twin Peaks reference? Wake touched by the dark presence. Some of the that doesn't sound of their good. Selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. That's interesting and horrifying. And I'm guessing that's why they still say, like, things related to who or what they are. Like, oh, don't, you should have called the cops. Or you need to repair your stuff. You know, things related to their jobs and such. What the hell was that? Can I drive? No can I not drive this car? Were standard power company equipment. I cannot drive this car. Okay. Ew, gross. More grossness. Ew, ew, ew. Gross, gross, ew, 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 uh oh, uh oh, ew, ew, ew. Alright. Nothing back over here? Nothing back over here. Okay. I never know. You, you, with this game, given how much it let me explore at the beginning of this level, I, I don't know. I can't tell which way to go or if I should pay attention to everything or nothing. I hear you. Nice try, buddy. This ain't my first rodeo. What's up, friendo?
There you are. Whew. I'm starting to get good at this. I'm starting to pick up on details and uh-oh. Here you go, boys. Oh, you want another one? Sure, there you go. You, sir, seem like you want some extra firepower. Never you worry. Uh-oh. I'll be there to take care of you. All right. All right. I've noticed the, the way that I say... Recording games and doing stuff like this has made me pay more attention to the way I speak myself. So I've picked up more details and things like the way that I say all right when I'm in stressful situations. And I just go, all right, all right, all right, all right. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. How? It's a book. He is a writer. You know this based on the fact that you call him n different names for other writers every other fucking sentence. And it's honestly getting really annoying. So how could you possibly present that to your superiors or a judge or whoever and be like, Look, this is evidence. And have them not just go... Uh, it's a book. Wait, is this the way? That is the way I'm supposed to go, so I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way. The way I... The opposite way that I'm supposed to go. Um, and see if there are any supplies up here. Before I head back down the way I'm supposed to go. Ah, see? Obviously I need to go this way. This is the safe way, clearly. Lots of flashbangs. Yep. Who who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? And honestly, probably the best course of action for these boys is that. Okay, yeah, good. Three of them are done for. Which means I only need to waste a couple bullets on that guy. Okay. I'm paying attention. I'm using my the my supplies in the best possible way. This was actually, not kidding, the only reason I came up here. Oh, I could have just walked up this way. Good to know. Also, not even joking, before when I was surprised that there was falling damage, straight up, not kidding, didn't realize there was fall damage. Shotgun ammo, shotgun ammo, batteries. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had. Oh, Alice. yeah, baby. If that wasn't enough. I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pump action, baby. I love a good shotgun, and this is the best kind of shotgun. Uh, which way do I go? I'll go this way. Oh, thank you, light. Oh, shit. What's up, buddy? Okay. Not as powerful, and it go- the- the- the ammo goes quicker because of it. What the fuck is up here? Okay, nothing's up here. I was seeing things. Okay. Speaking of seeing things, Run, Alan, run. Ow. Pop it. Pop it. Quickly. Get up. Turn it on. Stand in the light. Okay. God, the lighting in this game is obviously insane. But wow. Sometimes it, you really just... Okay. Reload. Give fresh battery. Am I going the right way, or am I, like, looping around? I guess I'm just looping around like there's two different ways to get up here. 
bitch. I'm about to turn this on and kill all of you. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. And you know what? Just for the cherry on the top. Did I get all of you? Oh, hell yeah. That was awesome. Alright, gonna loop back around this way. So I can see what's in this cabin. Turn it on! Turn it on! Absolutely insane to me that, like, the muzzle flash or whatever doesn't do anything to them. Okay. Doesn't affect them at all. Alright, I got no shotgun ammo. I got no flare gun ammo. Alright, it's fine, though. It's fine. Just check it. What's up, boys? Oops. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, shit. Hi, buddy. I was wondering where you got off to. Oh, no, that's... Your friend is right there. Okay. Reload, 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 reload. Reload, 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 reload. Is that it? Is, have I officially made the loop? I think I've officially made the loop. Maybe? No, I didn't even walk across the bridge. Whoop! Oh, bullshit! I popped the flash grenade! I gotta do all that again! Oh, fuck off. There were so many good supplies everywhere. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll go this way. Wow, I fully did not see this. Yeah, hi, friends. What's up, boys? What's up, guys? Aw, oh, what's up, dude? Aw, oh, what's up? We're gonna have some fun. You boys in the darkness. What's up, friend? Come on, faster, faster. Faster! Okay. Put two batteries in just for good measure. I'm kind of glad that a battery does not equal a full, like, clip for the uh, flashlight. It adds to the tension. Whoop! I love that one just flew through the fucking window and landed next to me. Oh, shit. That was good. All right. Come on. A little bit faster, Ethan. You, Ethan. Alan. Come on. You can't... Maybe put a little hitch in your giddy up to get to the, the light. You know, the source of uh, health and goodness in this world. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Next one, next one. Yeah, turn it on. T turn it on. Turn it on. Okay, what's up, boys? Who wants some? Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit, shit. Oh, they all hit me at once? What the fuck? Alright, come on. One more time. We got this. I'm I'm just being sloppy. I'm just being sloppy. I gotta like I had no real plan. tighten up. I was going to give the kidnapper all and the I got this. pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint. I can and do make this. Him talk. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. We will quickly do that, turn that on, pop a flare, what's up boys, what's up, what's 
up. Where's the other one? I know I saw you. Where are you? There you are. Ow. Alright. Reload, 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 reload. Insert two batteries. Go ahead and get that out. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Oh, shit! I guess it's still got all of them. Oh my god, there was flare gun ammo here? I never noticed that. Was that actually always here? I don't know if I believe that or if that was... Whoop! Or if that was just added to make my life a little bit easier. They scared the shit out of me, those boys. They did. Anybody? Yup, 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 yup. What's up, friends? What's up, boys? Oh, what's up, dude? Will you stop hiding behind the tree, you silly, silly goose? Faster, faster, come on. There we go. These silly gooses. Alright, I got one more. I'm gonna pop a flashbang up here for these boys. Yep, there they are. I was wondering where they'd gotten to. Boop, turn that on. Boop, that's for you guys. Alright, not all of them, obviously. Wouldn't expect that. Oh, he's a big one. You boys are small ones. Okay. Finally. Jesus Christ. All right, the hell is up here? Oh my god, an, a checkpoint, thank god. Okay, take yourself, give yourself a second, Alan. Yeah, catch your breath, all right. Yeah, what in the hell is the up there? The dark princess was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? I don't know, but do you think maybe that cold feeling uh, comes from the fact that I think you're walking through a graveyard right now? The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Yeah, I... I don't know how accurate that is, but... I also realized that it was a graveyard. You didn't even have to say anything and I realized that. Faster, faster now. Okay. Insert battery. Alright, alright, alright. Got the shotgun fully loaded up. We got plenty of clips. Oh, yes. A moment of solitude. I do like that apparently the checkpoint is uh, always accompanied by a little piece of music that just like... Da -da -da -da. It's like a little, an auditory piece of reassurance. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a Whoop. century. Whoop! Don't you dare, don't you do it! He almost did it. I can't believe he almost did it. I told him not to do it, and he almost did it. Okay, nothing in there for me. Can't climb through windows anyway. Helen's not that much of an athlete. You can't even run more than 10 feet. What says this? Waking Casey. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now... I was angry at myself, angry at Alice, angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. I mean, you do have some kind of a plan. I would question why you're angry at Alice. Barry. Uh. What? 
Okay? Anyway, um, I would question why you're angry at Alice. Angry at Barry the makes sense. Dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades. Um, I don't know why you're angry at Alice. Ow. Motherfucker. Here we go. Mid-air. Just nudged me back a little bit in mid-air. But yeah, why are you angry at Alice? She didn't do any- she didn't ask to be kidnapped. Things were never as simple. Ba ba ba. Yeah, yeah. She didn't ask to be kidnapped. It was her idea to come here, yes, but- Or are you still being petty and childish and being angry at her for, like, scheduling you the th literal therapy appointment? I guess that could be that. And, and I mean, all right, fair. She could have handled that better. Both telling... I heard a door creak. I don't like that. Um, she could have handled that better as well. It did feel a little bit like she ambushed you with the information. Um, especially after, based on the way they, the argument went, it sounded like there was a pre-existing discussion that said, hey, I'm not going to write on this trip, period. So, obviously, her being like, surprise, look, here's a typewriter. By the way, I scheduled you a therapy appointment that you don't know about. Or didn't know about prior to this. That that can't be nice. Um, no, not the fridges! Boy, what a frigid reception. Boom. Ow. There's something behind me, isn't there? Oh, there's not. I guess. I thought there was another... Never mind, there they are. Well, shit. Come on. You know what? Fuck this. Ow! Fuck this, I say, as the tractor shot in my direction and flattened me to the ground like a pancake. Alright. Toss down one of those. Does a flare make it straight up impossible for them to do anything? Ow. Motherfucker. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh, whoops. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay. Oh, are you still... You're still up and at him? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright. Alright. Everything's fine. Okay. Just walk very slowly over the... Yup, that seems about right. Okay. Alright, everything's fine. Just wandering through the woods in an abandoned coal mine. As you do, as one does. Oh, this is not gonna end well for me. Come on, come on. Did it make like a train whistle noise? Like fucking Thomas? Okay, there we go, they're both done for. Is that light in here or am I mistaken? Safe haven. Oh hell yeah. Oh bullshit. Key for the door. Please be, just be in here. Please just be a generic key in here. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, everyone. Get me in. Let me in. Come on. A little faster now. Oh sweet Jesus. Flare gun ammo. Wow, it's even got a chair for me to. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with. That's books. who Thomas Amos. That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. I remember now. Focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake. 
using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, oh. wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Okay. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing oh, scared. Girl like, oh no. Zane the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Alan, did you just say that he writes about, like, his girlfriend being taken over? Because if that's the case, oh. Hmm. No, I'm keeping the shotgun. I like shotguns too much to not keep the shotgun. Um, if that's what he's writing about, then I think maybe I know what that is. I'm gonna harbor a guess. Is that Alice? Because she mentions being freaked out by the dark. Is that why? Did she know? Oh, if that's true, what a fucking twist that would be. I don't know, though. I don't know. I don't... I haven't played this game. I don't know anything about it. I'm pur purely using context the clues. Had sent me a text. The message was full of <laughs> errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. I'm trying, man. Have you ever ran through the woods in the middle of the night? Uh, well, I mean, he probably has. But have you ever tried to navigate to the top of a peak of a mountain that you've never been to before in the middle of the night while also being chased by inanimate objects that are rocketing towards you at supersonic speeds? I doubt you. I doubt you've done that. Oh, okay. Okay. They went away. Oh, oh, go. Okay. Okay, I was wondering if they were coming back. Come here, you little fuckers. I know you're coming after me. Come on. Come here. A little closer. Little closer. There we go. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Also, what is that? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, okay. What is this giant source of light that's over here? Okay, go, go, go. Oh, shit. Well, this is not ideal. I'm trapped in a mine now? A thing literally known for being dark? Well, this is just fucking peachy. How do I... What the fuck? Where do I go now? Oh, this way. Well, this is just delightful. Uh, wait. Whoa. Oh! Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. Oh, fuck this. What the shit? Hello? Well, this seems good. Hello? Alice, is this- is- are you down here? Without warning, the headache stabbed- Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, it automatically turned me to go back up. No, 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 I don't think- I'm coming, Alice! Jesus Christ! I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. Oh my fucking lord. Oh god. I can only imagine what this is gonna be about. 
Hunters taken. The hunters were big, thick-set men. Oh, this is not what I thought this was going to be about. This is the opposite of what I thought it was going to be about. Stories and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Jesus. The whole world's gone mad. And only Alan Wake can find the truth and figure out why. Good lord. That makes... So these tunnels go down to Cauldron Lake, which is where we last saw Alice when she was falling. Of course I would go fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs as soon as I got down there. That makes all the sense in the world. Also, this is giving off major, like, that specific area in control where it's underground and you fight, like, the plant creature. Giving off major vibes of that. For sure, for sure. Alright. We need to make our way out of this here silver mine. Which seems like it's going to be... Easier said than done. For numerous reasons. But, we're going to do it. We are going to make it. I know that for a fact. And we're going to do it in the next episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Like the video if you liked the video. Share the video if you'd like to share the video. Subscribe if you'd like to as well. That would really help me out. I have been Jacob, and you have been wonderful. Thank you guys for, once again, having my back as we make our way through this incredibly spooky world with darkness around every corner, figuratively and literally. And this has been Alan Wake. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you, Space Cowboys.